and TV and I hit the world oh that was bad oh that was bad crash again I might crash it just like that cramped places <laughs> did you see that crash easy to fly beginner friendly durable and good looking as well Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Salish Anmal here and welcome to my little RC main cave. Yes, I often get this question from beginners who want to learn to fly RC helicopters that what is the best helicopter for beginners to learn to fly and get into RC helicopter flying? Well, I have done many videos on beginners RC helicopters and here comes a newest from Ishim here it is the all-new Ishin E119 helicopter especially designed for beginners it's a full four channel series RC helicopter with a built-in 6 axis gyro that makes it ultimate stable and very very easy to fly for beginners now, this is an RTF ready to fly bundle that comes with two or three batteries I got myself a three battery version right here inside the box you have a user manual that you should study you have a radio control three batteries as I got three battery version a USB charger for your batteries spare blades and a beautiful E119 Yishin RC helicopter let me give you a flight demonstration right away and tell you why beginners are going to actually love this RC helicopter. Let's fly it. I can only test it indoors because outdoor weather turned really bad. High winds, blue gale warning. All right, here we go. Wow, it's really nice and quiet. Okay. And the way the blades are spinning nice and quiet shows very balanced blades. All right, let me just set the trims a little bit. One moment, almost there. Once you set the trims and you get to set the throttle right, it's really hands-free, you can see. So, it's really very easy to fly once you set the trims. It absolutely is beginner friendly. All right, those were the hovers. Hovers really nice. Throttle control you have to learn a bit. Okay, throttle control you have to learn because it just keeps going up and down. You have to make very tiny adjustments on the throttle in order to make it hover at one place. Maybe later Ishin could add a bit of uh, altitude hold that would make it much more beginner friendly so that was our let's test other stuff like uh, one moment controls let's see when it goes out of control I'm just mashing the sticks like these you see as soon as I leave the sticks it becomes really nice and stable Throttle control is the key. So, stability is really nice. Yaw control. Yaw is slightly slow, which is very good for beginners, otherwise they will get confused. As you can see, it's really doing yaw hands-free, right? I'm not even touching the side click. All right, now let's fly it around. So I'm just going to sit here uh, on my sofa and fly it around. As I said, throttle control is the key to fly it around. I'm going right there, controlling it. Ooh. <laughs> Motor picks power 
instantly which is good so if you are going out of control you will be able to control it in times as I said throttle control is one thing that you have to get used to it in order to fly it uh, in a, at right altitude and control while it's flying it okay that was a crash test nice I hit my you know punch bag right there once again get up no problems as at all controls are good nice and slow I mean it's not very agile and at the same time it can pick good speed and as I said you do have two speed controls as you can see how fast it became now <laughs> At the second speed control, that is like high speed, beginners might have issues controlling it, but nothing serious right there. So back to the slow speed, which is for beginners. I'm just testing its responses. That was the forward flight. Let's fly backward because that's where oh, oh you crash <laughs> just like this. It came down on my foot. One moment, the battery is hanging. Let me let me put the battery back in. And here we are. I bent the tail a bit, I believe. Yeah. Nothing serious. So let's fly backward and practice flying backward. No, don't go there. I really have a very cramped space that was extremely close to uh, my air conditioner and TV and I hit the world globe there and I'm having some nice crashes back to forward flight it is it is really nice and stable and beginners are simply going to love it the way it flies the way it is very stable easy to handle easy to fly too close oh nice I went in a speed right behind the gym bag I mean the punch bag just to practice some backward flying and I am doing really not well with that at times I can control it just like this say it's nice and smooth oh that was bad so I broke the tail fin completely it's gone but helicopter is still flying this is nice okay one moment can we do like side flying let me say I'm trying to do like this no 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 don't come at me Oh, that was a bad crash again. So now it becomes crash test video, right? Which is good because you can see how well the helicopter is made and how durable it is that the crashes basically are not going to break it. I'm actually trying to do this like a kind of a funnel movement on backward flying. It's nice. It's nice helicopter, man. I mean, see how nice it can pick a speed. You can fly nice and banking smooth circles. You can fly it scaled indoors and outdoors and enjoy flying it like a helicopter. Controls are good. Gyro is doing very well. See, I hit the tail there, but how quick it actually got back to level flight and locked tail so I'm just flying nice and fast and making myself dizzy as well <laughs> I might crash it just like that okay still flying so just to conclude nice and good helicopter really beginner friendly 
tough built it is tough as well durable for beginners obviously when they are learning they are going to crash a lot and it does not break it keeps flying that is the thing basically the beginners actually want something easy to fly and durable will not break all right I will bring the helicopter back to my room hold on that's not a bad challenge it's actually very nice and easy it's an easy challenge easy peasy thing to do for me in my little room let's fly it give it one circle here just to see how good it is to fly at cramped places <laughs> did you see that crash that was really high speed right into the wall all right it's still up it's still flying nice man you got to give it to Ishin that this time they have really nice product for you easy to fly beginner friendly durable and good looking as well what else beginner wants and you also have three batteries versions so one battery see I'm still flying awesome thank you very much Ishin for making a really nice helicopter previously we did have some good beginner helicopters fly bar less uh, without collective pitch they were actually a fixed pitch blades they flew very well also we had other uh, beginners helicopters with fly bar less system and collective pitch but one thing that missed in those helicopters was the flight time the flight time was extremely short I'm happy that Ishin E119 have absolutely long flight times man. you can see I'm still flying the first battery and I still have a lot of lot of power to fly it around so there's a plenty of flight time which is the key here because beginners need more practice and each battery is giving so much flight time with three batteries probably you're gonna get bored flying it around like hey why the battery is not finishing it's really very efficient propulsion system here very high flight endurance man really long flight endurance there you are people I gotta edit this video and get to you really quick so you can see how good the Ishin E119 helicopter is. Absolutely two thumbs up. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button